ringing telephone call. Any researcher worth her salt knows what this means. It's time for the birth of a new member of the Democratic Unionist Party. Laboratories at Sheffield Steel Scientific jump to action. The project started as the mind baby of physicist Erwin Schrodinger, seen here taking refuge in the Irish Free State. The first step is to get a fresh sample of DNA, which is extracted by a precision laser. The scientist powers up the beam. The donor's hand is placed and held in the beam for sampling. Hold still now. Ouch! The sample is checked for any signs of lather, leathering, and soilage. And then, the donor's body is immediately crushed and repurposed as the finest pool balls you've ever seen. The secret to a good DUP baby is good ingredients, and at Sheffield Steel, they've got the lot with the freshest gelatine and healthy, non-polluting, unleaded uranium. Sir Humphrey Douglas, chairperson of the laboratories, certainly approves. We regard them as taxpayers who are making an investment in the future. After two days of fermentation, the newly grown DUP baby is extracted from its larval casing. Eve, oh men! Any excess scales are brushed off, and genitals are added. Hello. Sometimes they can come out as a pair. The first stage in raising the new DUP member is training it to drive tiny cars like this one. And finally, the big day. Tickets for the unveiling are handed out to members of the Orange Order. Princess Margaret arrives for the spectacle. And the new DUP member is a success. He'll be a Taekwondo master. And certainly, Princess Margaret is impressed.